Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how I make my drone videos. I know not everyone's a super big fan of them. Uh, whatever, it's your loss. But uh, it's also just video editing in general. Um, I use PowerDirector, I don't know, whatever the latest version is. Uh, I also use Camtasia Studio. That's what I'm using to record the screen right now. And then uh, Adobe Premiere is very good as well. I'm a PC guy, not a Mac guy, so I don't have iMovie. I know iMovie is a great tool as well. So um, drones only get video, well at least the DJI only gets video, so I put the sound on top of it. I already um, brought in some of the sound I wanted, but uh, I have like a list of uh, of stuff I download music that I thought was uh, decent enough and I know it's copyright free, so I, I won't get, I could still you know run ads and not get my, uh, get any copyright claims as well. So I kind of picked a song already that I liked, um, that I thought would go well with the ocean. We're doing an ocean thing. Yeah, part of that song. I don't like the whole song, but parts of it. See, I'm like, this song doesn't work at all. So I just deleted it. You're probably also wondering what's all this stuff. This comes like stock, these little photos. This is my little library right here. I should probably clean this up a little bit. And uh, even though I have a pretty decent computer, it still lags a little bit. So uh, first thing I want to do is I, I I like takeoff shots. I think they're pretty cool when you just get up and you go. So boom. And then I happen to be in a very beautiful place for this one. So I'm just chopping this up a little bit. I kind of want to, I want it to go pretty quick. So um, that's pretty good. And then we're in. Okay, and then I, I mess around with my car over in that area, so I don't want to do that. And see how you see the wings in this one at the top? That's not very good. You got to slow down a little bit. A little coming down shot is kind of cool as it like descends. So a really quick descending shot. Um, I'm just going to delete all this right there. Um, what I typically do is I, um, I find my best shots. See, like these birds are kind of cool. And uh, oh, and then there's that plane in the air. I'm falling. Okay, that's kind of cool. I didn't even see the plane when I was flying the drone, but um, that's a long sequence right here. Right here, this whole chunk of time. I believe this all, this all continues. It's two chunks that like kind of go in together. Did I cut that? Did I cut? Hold on, I'm gonna uncut. So Control Z uh, uncuts. But it'd be cool to get a time lapse of this airplane. But you also don't want the drone moving too much. See, I messed up there, and that I was moving the drone a lot. Um, so it, it's pretty stationary there at this point, so you're not going to get too dizzy. And there's that little spin right there. Something kind of cool about the spin. Um, the spin, especially when you speed it up, is going to be like really abrupt. So what I could do is, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here to get the exact moment that it uh, spins exact kind of frame starts to turn okay so it turns right so I'm gonna cut it here I'm gonna let it do its spin so I'm gonna keep all that at normal pace but I'm gonna speed this up and then I also want to speed up this part to where I don't see the plane anymore just right about plane goes away okay so this is the slow part here but how long is this this is 18 seconds this is way too long so I'm just gonna let it start to spin and then skip to the end of the spin and then this we're gonna uh, go up to power tools here and this is basically a time lapse it's pretty easy to do and uh, I just go by time. 
Like I feel like the viewer doesn't want to be, you know, five seconds is a long time. Four is pretty good. And you don't want to go up to like 20 to, you don't want to go all the way up to 100. 100 times is so fast, you're not going to be able to really enjoy it at all. So 7.27. So I want to also make this part 7 by 27 as well. So it goes just as fast because remember this whole scene is we're following that plane in the air. So 7.27. This program is pretty good at, you know, it stops at certain intervals. Okay. So how much more do we have here? Um, so I don't, I'm not going to keep you in this whole movie while I edit this whole thing. What I think I'm going to do is find a couple more shots I really like. So that's how I typically chop it up. So this is cool. I was going around. I did some, I really like this shot where it's looking down and we're coming up like this shot here. I like a little rotation, so I might do this, chop this. Um, I'm going to save this for later. I'm just going to drag it over there. So I like that little spin and then it comes up. And then, uh, Maybe jump to a little out shot here. And then a little slow-mo for a little bit, for like a, a second or two. And then time lapse this with the waves for however long I can. Till I move the drone again. So I move the drone right around there. So I can cut this. Let's go ahead and time lapse that. And this, I kind of, I, I mean, I don't want it to go too fast because waves too fast are kind of, um, that's pretty cool. See if we go like 70. It can't even really process it right now. It needs to render it first, but yeah. 10 was fine and it was quick. Okay, I'm gonna go around, do this. Ooh, that's a nice shot of the whole highway there. I like the pan up shot. I guess it's a pan down shot. When does it pan up? This part right here. There we go, I'm gonna go right there. Okay, so that's a cool shot there. There's a lot of cool stuff in here as well. I'm just not gonna do that yet. Okay, so I think I bored you enough. Let's just quicken this up. So I mean, there's way more to go to this, but this is the start to the video. And I'd probably reorganize some of these clips and stuff, but we're almost at one minute. And then there's the song, I bring the song down. I don't really like this song that much, but let's check it out. And there's the audio here. I'd probably just start it like right here or something. So I know that I'm gonna cut it here really quick just so I can get rid of this. And then uh, it would be cool to have it like right when this thing takes off. So, so like right there is when it takes off. So I don't really need about that much. So if I click this and then I hit the cut, it won't cut up here, it'll just cut down there. So now let's, uh, it should be right around the right time. I actually think it should maybe be a little longer. It'd be cool if it, uh, that way the, the viewer kind of sees the beautiful water and then it kind of goes, okay. And then typically I would, you know, cut this off, cut off the music there. I'm going to save it for later though. And then, uh, text. You can see all the, sorry, left off focus on. So you got the drone film to be continued. Please like, and subscribe. I'll just, you know, do something like that. And then, uh, make sure there's some music there. And then if I wanted to, I could do that. Um, 
uh, what else? What else? What else? I mean, if I wanted to, um, some other little cool little things you could do is, you know, there's lots of filth. There's all sorts of things you can get into with like uh, effects and things like that. Um, yeah, it's got little interesting things like that. Styles, fade. Uh, I kind of like this one right here. Where is it? I think it's in here. Yep. One of the transitions. Interference. Actually, I want to delete that really quick. Yeah, this wasn't quite on there either. So put interference at the end of the video. So it's like this. And then it ends. See how it kind of does this. It just scrolls up. Okay, cool. So we got that, we got the effects. That's not quite on there. A little gap. No, there's not, okay, good. Um, some other things you can do with like the sound is you can like, you know, mess with the sound, like have it kind of fade down and then up. Um, or if you're like doing a, a fade in, fade out, you do something like this, where this would go up and then this would go down. So you see this one's going down while this one's going up. This is called the crossover fade or so whatever it's called. I'm probably saying it wrong, but cross fade, crossover fade. And then so while if I had two different audio tracks, I'd just be doing that. So you didn't really notice it there, but you know, you can make that more dramatic or less dramatic depending on how you drag that out. Really simple, easy stuff, beginner stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and render this thing and uh, then we're done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move this over here. So after I'm done rendering this, I can get back to it later. I'm just gonna temporarily cut all this out and I'll paste it back in after I render the video. But for the time being, um, there we go. As far as the fade out, I kind of don't need that. Thank you. Uh, I see what happened there. Cut. I'm cutting too much stuff here. Okay, so now we're squared. It's okay if the sound goes a little longer. It's just a black screen. Or what I could have done is uh, just drag that out because it's just a tech. It's just an image. I could just drag that out a little bit more. Let's just drag this out to here. And now I see how it's lined up. Okay. Um, you have all sorts of outputs. Um, AVI is a good one. AVC, MP4 is a good one. Then you do MTTS, MKV. There's all sorts. So 1920 by 1080. This 1080p at 30 frames, 24 frames per second is pretty cool as well. 120 would be cool as well if you could shoot at that. And then you have, uh, you know, your 1080, your uh, 4K at the bottom here, 2K, et cetera, et cetera. But I mean, there's a lot more space. Um, okay, I use hardware acceleration, it goes faster. And then uh, I just put it in a main directory. So at this point you hit start. And, uh, if it's less than a minute, this thing's gonna render pretty quick. So here's our finished product. So not bad. I hope you liked this video. If you did, maybe give it a little thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you like what I do. And we'll see you guys on the next one.